Well, hello there. We are. We're just having a nice walk along the canal. I've got my rucksack on. I've got my little uh, telescopic rod. Oh, it's windy here. And uh, I'm going to try and find somewhere to fish. Out the wind. A bit of an easterly wind at the moment. So it's a bit fresh. But uh, we should be able to find somewhere to fish. I'm shocked to see how clear the canal is. Bear in mind we've had low end of rain and everything. I thought there'd be a load of colour in the canal. But it's dropped out really, really fast. And uh, I wish I brought my Polaroids now because I can see just, well, it's just a dark band down the middle. And you can see three metres out either bank. So there's just a dark trough down the middle. And uh, that'd be good for concentrating the fish where I want them. Hopefully we can catch a uh, a chub or two, maybe a perch, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to where I know the chub live, see if we can spot them. I didn't think we'd have any chance, I only brought my Polaroids, I didn't think it'd be that clear. But by the time I got to the canal, it was, uh, well this is horrible, sorry, it's like a, it goes up and down and there's a bit of a mud bath in the middle. <laughs> um, yeah, I sometimes cycle this, but uh, I've gone for a walk today. So uh, I've got to get out, I've got to get out. It's um, it's probably half past three in, in the afternoon now. And i um, been struggling a little bit with the old head at the moment. Uh, I suffer with anxiety. I think some of you probably realise that, but I, I do suffer. Yeah, the best thing for anxiety is to uh, go out and fish and sort your head out, get some exercise. I've been stuck in a house for a bit too much. Oh, I can see the chub, I can see the chub. Oh my god, I'm going to have to turn this round and show you. <laughs> but all I wanted to say is, get out of the house, get some exercise, that's the best thing for... So yeah, but I don't know if you can see, down the middle of the canal. Look at that, wow. How many are there? The thing is, if, if you can see them, they can definitely see us. I reckon a, a single, single twig snap and they'll be gone. Check we'll be able to catch one. I reckon we might be able to catch one, and that'll be it. Look at that! How many chub? Oh dear, what a sight! Well, I've walked away. <laughs> I can't believe I've seen them straight away. A little bit nearer this way than what they were last year in the winter when I was finding them. But uh, yeah, how many were there? <laughs> Forty. <laughs> Let's put the bag down. And I think I'm not even going to try and walk past them. Hopefully, a dog walker won't come by and scare them. But we'll we'll loose feed some maggots and we'll chuck a little wagger towards them. Worked last time. Let's see if we can catch them again. This is the revisit. <laughs> That's my rod. Already rigged up. I think we'll just catch one, don't you? So if we can catch a second, it'll be days. I'm just probably going to feed it. Just catch a few maggots and see what happens. Believe it. I, I'm shocked to see how clear the canal is. Uh, I don't think you need Polaroids. <laughs> yeah, all I've got is a little, uh, what is it, five number four waggler. That's about two BB, isn't it? And then a telescopic rod. Oh, Shimano travel concept rod. This fishing a 16 to 014 bottom, which is about three pounds. Double maggot, I think. We might just just drip a little bit of bait in for a little bit. Let's push that up. Set it about four foot. 
so we can we can follow it down. Right, let's go. I think they've already spooked. I didn't even feed on them, I fed to the left of them. I think they've already gone. Let's just persevere. But I don't want to stand up. They might have followed them down, I suppose. Yeah, there's some big bleak here. They're bleak. Never seen them before. All I've seen here normally is chub. Should we risk it already? I think they've already spooked. But they might swim by. I mean, this, this chub's like a bag of spanners as well. I think they've gone that way a little bit. Alright. Can't see the float there because of the bubbles. Worst cast in the world. That's the problem with a epoxy little rod. That's better. It's nowhere near where I wanted it. That's fine. I'm going to raise something up. I think they've just backed right off. I can see the bleak. I think the chub have backed right off. That's fine, we'll keep feeding it. We'll deepen this up now. Chub have just gone. You never know. They might just be down. It's supposed to be a nice relaxing walk this. shoal is just spooked. <laughs> That's me. But we're not going to catch them if they're a foot deep anyway. We need them to be down eating. <laughs> I literally fed five maggots twice and they all scarpered. I'm going to say I'm just a little bit over depth there. I'm not plumbing it up. I know it's about four and a half. 
Oh, that's a bike. You've got one. You've got one. You've got one. That's a chill. That is a chill. Big as the one I had before, but we've got one. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Couple of pounds. a second. I can't believe we've caught one straight away. Despite my dreadful casting. <laughs> Brilliant. I spent two months trying to chase these before. I've worked out how to catch him now. Oh, you've made a right mess of this, Johnny boy. Oh no, that's all right. Just a little wrap around. Just a little wrap around. Pulled well, didn't he? Oh, he looks happy there anyway. I'm going to risk standing up to feed again. <laughs> if all the eyes are lined up right. <coughs> what an amateur. Oh, that went in beautiful. Go on then. See if we can't catch another. I mean, I'm fishing 014, which is strong. I still thought he was going to break me. Just twitch it. Oh, I can't see it there. Oh, pop up. It's definitely on the bottom. So that took a long time to pop back up. Obviously, if I was doing this properly, I'd bring a, an 11 or 12 foot rod. But really, I'm backpacking and I just wanted a travel rod. So they must have all been down there anyway. They must have all been down there. Brilliant. <laughs> Can't believe we caught one straight away. We'll have a few more casts and we'll pop him back. You alright? Yeah, you caught one, well done. Yeah. Got, chub. chub, yeah. Did you? Uh, a couple of pounds. Uh, this is our walking back side. <laughs> um, where the river is, yeah. the chap caught a six pounder. Oh, wow. Nice. That'll do me. No, about two pound mine. <laughs> I mean, might, that might be our one and only chance. And <laughs> now the guy's gone by. Might have spooked him as well. Say so I could have sat here and primed it for an hour and then gone on them, but I ain't come here to do that. I've come for a walk and catch a fish. Happy days. Oh, red kite. Oh, I just needed to get out and catch a fish. That's what we've done. I'm greedy now. I'll see if I can catch a second. So we just have 10, 15 minutes and then we'll. Uh, We'll carry on walking. I can actually see little bleak. Oh, that was a bit, that was a boom. 
As I say, I can see bleak pimping right on the float. That was definitely a, a little dip as well. Oh, what was that? Somewhere down the side there, just went for it. What was that? Aquarium. Either a chub following it in or a little bike. Right down the edge. A little bit this side, but that's not a problem. I actually think the, the depth is this side. I caught some grass on the surface as I was reeling it back and it went for that. That was amazing, wasn't it? So I've, I've seen them all, fed, felt like I scared them all. Had a couple of aborted cars and then a, my first proper car, so I caught one straight away. When you think they've all gone, they must have been down eating the maggots. But now I've caught one, that's probably it. We'll have another five, five, ten minutes and see. But I'm thinking that's probably it. It's rather clear. God knows what that was down there. I want to keep walking anyway. We might find another spot to fish. There might be another shoal of chub, you don't know. There might be more than one shoal. There's definitely one big shoal, but I've, I've definitely seen an odd big one on their own. Either carp or chub. Oh, that's gone over a stick. It seems to be sitting higher. It has, it's gone over a stick. That's a problem, there's a raft of rubbish. There you are, the obligatory Johnny Arthur stick. And that's a problem because there's no wind there, all the rubbish has gathered there. Ooh, ooh. That was a nice one. And that's not gone over a stick. <laughs> I got all excited then, what we got? Told you, look at that for a bleak. It's like a herring for a canal. That is a huge bleak. Absolutely huge. Look at the size of that compared to my hand. Huh? It shows a bleak in this in this canal. That was a big one. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine and a bit, nine and three quarters, ten. Yep, how do you? are going to be a bit lively now. <laughs> there we are. Not a monster, but a cracker. <laughs> Slip your back, matey. Gone. Ha ha. Let's carry on walking. Oh, so we caught one. Give it another 10 minutes, no more fish. So, carry on having a wander. See if we can't find them again. Walk quite slowly. We'll have a nice wander up this way anyway. Then we'll have a wander back. Might see him again. Might not. That might be it. We might find another spot to fish. I'll find a band of coloured water somewhere that might be some bream about or something, you know. Who knows? I found them again. They're coming this way. 
Got time to put me other camera on. Oh, that was perfect. That's exactly where I've been feeding. I think we scared them off this time. There we are. Two big old trees there. And only big trees for a mile, so it's nice and quiet here. Bit of cover. Let's have a little go here. Give myself 20 30 minutes, and then we'll have a wander back. See if we can catch a perch or something. But I've just nestled myself between two trees. Well, let's just put it down. We ain't far off there. I'm going to leave it at that and not make any more disturbance. Just throw five or six maggots twice. I reckon we're probably six inches over depth, which is good. I don't mind that because a waggler's going to drift a lot more than a pole float. So we'll we'll leave it at that for now, and we'll try two maggots on a sixteen. Pretty crude, but if we do have any chub there. We want to get them out. We've got a bleak and a chub already, haven't we? Yeah. So this is what I designed, well, this is what I'd set the waggler up for. Just nice. Not, uh, not loving it 20 metres away, just flicking it off the rat tip. I wasn't expecting to be stalking. <laughs> Should have known better, really. There it's got a little bit of a pull. There's no reason for fishing a little bit over depth. It's not about the tackle, is it, today? It's definitely not about the tackle. It's about getting out, me and nature. No idiots, plonkers, haters. No clicks. Just me and the fish. Ooh, that, oh, that, oh. Also, they just spun past. I just saw a chub swim by. A chub swam past my float. Wow. I just saw it swim by. Great big fish all on its own. If I wasn't looking at my float, I'd have never known it was there. Holy moly. That was a big fish. I don't think there's a lot down there other than perch and big chubs swimming through. I don't think there's any roach here. I bet there's not a roach here for a mile. They've all gone where the boats are. So when it goes really clear, you can see all the way across. But we've got a nice emerald green bar down the middle. I mean, I should be prepping for a I'm on a big final tomorrow, <laughs> but um, just need to get out, get some exercise, sort my head out. I'm not anxious about the match at all, not at all, I'm quite confident. <sighs> Overthinker. There's an odd bleak going up and down. 
and something swirled up that stick suggests there's more fish in this bit than, than there was last winter when it was tap water clear. It's just nice, isn't it? Ain't it nice? There's no one for miles. I've had one person walk by. That's it. You get the odd train, the odd plane, red kites, I've seen a little wren. I'm sure I saw a kingfisher earlier. And, uh, and a big shoal of chub. <laughs> But that's it. Just me and my canal. So we'll have 10 minutes here. If we don't get any bites, we'll have a wander back the other way. Inspector Maggots. Do, 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 do. Inspector Maggot. There's nothing wrong with those. Go a little bit further across, then we'll drag it back once we've fed. Like I said, we'll drag it into there. Perfect. Last cast here, then we'll, we'll, we'll have another wander. So if there's a perch or something about, you'll, you, you'll catch it pretty quick, I think. Keep active, stay impatient, but enjoy the day. That's the most important thing. So that's just, oh, now that's a bite, that's a bite, that was a bite. That was 100% a bite. <laughs> that's what it was. What we got, we got a perch. <laughs> we got another fish. <laughs> It's just kept me to scourge you out. I thought I had a bite. <laughs> well, we've caught one fish in this swim. I don't think we're going to catch a second. I'm quite keen to move. It's just to scourge you, mate. I can, just, I can see the hook. It's not too deep. There we are. There we are. Three species. <laughs> Good. I thought we'd catch a perch. I was hoping for a big one, but uh, one little one will do. Oh, go on, let's have one more cast, one more, one more. I'm getting dew drops on my nose, it's quite chilly now. I'm quite keen to just get home. Stretch my legs, a bit of exercise. That's what it's all been about. Catching fish was just a bonus. <laughs> we'll see if we can see the chub. I'm gonna have to have a chuck home if I see him, aren't I? But, uh, yeah, we'll, we might just call it a day at that. We'll see, we'll see. Got a big final tomorrow. What am I doing? Stalking chub. See where the chub are now. So I'm hoping they're down feeding. <laughs> A little link ledger wouldn't have gone amiss today. Plopping it in. As much as I'd like to fish till dark. I've got a wife and child to get back to. And a big match to prepare for. <laughs> but this has been the best prep I could have. Get some fresh air and exercise. One more fish would be nice. <laughs> and just being greedy. Fascinating bit of canal this is. There's not a lot in here. There really isn't. Everything's shoaled up tightly. All the silver fish have been rounded up, up by the locks and the ridges. The chub have come right out of the way. Out of the way of everyone. Where uh, no one disturbs them except idiots like me. I was going to move further down and have another go nearer the bridge, but I don't think we need to. We 
we won't have time for that. We've caught three species. We've had a nice wander. Right, this is my last cast. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope. Nope, that'll do. That'll do, it'll do. That was the mission. Get out, get some fresh air, get some exercise. Like I say, catching fish is a bonus, but uh, it was nice to find my old uh, chub shoal again <laughs> and catch one straight away. As I expected, that was the one and only one I caught. So uh, let's get home and carry on prepping for my big match. <laughs> Sometimes prepping your tackle isn't what you need. Sometimes you just gotta get out get some fresh air and some exercise so uh but i'll probably up to <laughs> but i'll probably be up till midnight so i normally tackle out but that's pretty normal for me anyway so uh yeah hope you enjoyed that anyway i'll see you again on the bank Oh, that's a bite. We've got one. We've got one. We've got one. <laughs> Not a monster, but a cracker. <laughs> Slip your back, matey. Gone. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's carry on walking. <laughs>